Okay, we're live. Welcome everybody, welcome to Let's Cook. Just want to adjust that, you can see me in there. That's perfect, let me just move that a bit more. Perfect. Welcome everybody to Let's Cook, I'm Silvestro and this is episode number four. So we are moving along quite quickly in how we are progressing through our episodes. Tonight, it's only one dish we're gonna to make tonight. And it's a classic. It's one of those meals that you can make with whatever you got in the fridge. So if you've got any leftover vegetables, um, or meat or whatever you have you can put all together so tonight we are cooking the classic omelette so what I've done is to make sure that tonight's episode doesn't go for an hour and we stick to our 20 minutes I've prepared most of the meal or most of the the um, ingredients but I'll bring them to this section here so you can see and then all we need tonight is just a fry pan I just have to move my wine out the way. I hope we're all enjoying the episodes. Ah, oh, that's really nice. So, traditionally with the omelette, it's one of those dishes that you can be creative and you can make it into whatever that suits you and the family. So what I'm gonna do is, we're gonna start first Let's light up the fry pan, get that going. Perfect. And what's really, really important is that we do this in a certain order. So remember the ingredients that you were given? We've got six eggs, we've got some rocket, parsley, oregano, we've got some mozzarella cheese, tomatoes, mushrooms, Spanish onions. We've got bacon slash ham as an optional. Tomato, garlic, lemon, salt, pepper, oil, and away we go. So what I normally do when it comes to cooking an omelette or when I'm cooking things, I always tend to cook the hardest vegetables first. Not as far as they're hard to cook, but as far as the density. So what I tend to do is first, I always will start cooking the Spanish onions and the capsicums first because they, they tend to take the longest to cook and then we can put it to one side, okay? Just checking to make sure that, yep, we've got one person online. That's better. Make sure your pan is nice and warm, especially when it comes to the onions. So let's do that first. Okay. And I hope we all been inspired on, on how to cook and when to cook. Like I said, it's all easy. Onions first. Okay. Very handy having the jaws close by. Most of the time to overcome overeating or snacking or craving, it all come or or what to cook. It's all about prep work, all about meal prep work. So you whenever you go shopping, make sure you have a list of foods you're gonna cook for that week. So at least you're organized. You're organized, you have a plan, you're prepped up. That means that there's not gonna be over overeating or just bringing up an order and takeaway, which is not always good for you. So let's do the onions first. I tend to mix the onions and the capsicums. I'm using red capsicum. 
funny how there's green and there's yellow, but just capsicums. Well, I use one capsicum, one onion, and I'm also going to add some crushed garlic. Okay, so that all goes in there. And while we're here, we're going to add some salt and pepper. Let's put some salt and a bit of pepper. The aroma that comes from garlic, onions, and capsicum is oh, divine. So you can see I'm going to cook it here. I'm going to take it off the heat and quickly show you how that's all cooking like so. Okay, so it's on high. I hope you can hear me like clearer tonight. I do have a new microphone and I changed all the lights to white light. So, and I've got the iPad the correct way so you can see the weight loss hanging on, not back to front. That Nikki gave me that tip. I was a bit embarrassed in my very first video that the weight loss king was back to front and I was left-handed. Well, I am left-handed but and right-handed, but I could see myself doing everything on the left. So it's just really important to me to make sure that when I'm doing these Facebook Lives that you can understand me and you can see everything I'm cooking. Um, everything is posted back onto the group. So let's that cook it the way. Now, I'm not too fast. Once I've done the main ingredients, I tend to put it into a bowl and then I add it in at the end. Okay, so three extra bowls. So that way we're organized. So the good old omelet. I used to do my omelet always on a Sunday because by the end of the week, it's like, well, come Sunday, you're thinking, what have I got to eat? And you dive into the fridge and you have a look and see, what do I have? And you throw everything together. So it's a great way to news up whatever you have left over in the fridge so it doesn't go to waste. And it's a meal that has everything. I mean, you've got your vegetables, you have um, your protein, your your good carbs, which are from your vegetables, dairy. But like I said, everyone has different nutritional wants um, and needs. And you can, it is a recipe you can really change. So I'm just making sure, I'll give it a few more minutes, and we're on track to make sure we've got this right tonight. And I have a special gift for everyone who's watching tonight. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to put a link on the bottom part of the video and I'm going to give everybody a meal prep guide. It's basically, it's, it basically has what you need to know when it comes to doing preps. Whoops, there we go, preps. And inside I've got some tips and tricks. I've got three recipes in here for you so it gives you an idea of the meal plans in which I do have online. And then at the very end, I've got a couple of templates. That's okay, it's cooking quite well. I want a weekly shopping list. And the other one is a plan. Okay, a weekly meal planner for you as well. So that I'm gonna to give to everyone tonight. So I'll have a link. You can follow the link to my website and download it for free of charge. Okay. So this is looking good. I'm going to pull this out now. Let's put that to one side. I'm going to drain it and just use a spatula that has the groove part. Now, like I said, I put an option of bacon. You don't have to add it. You can have this as a total vegetarian. Unfortunately, it's not a vegan dish because it has um, dairy and eggs. And I know there's some vegan people out there. And I'm not too sure whether or not if people know 
but I was a vegan for about a year, year and a half, almost two years. So next week I will be doing a vegan dish for all our vegan friends. The next one I'm going to cook is some bacon. Okay. Now like I said, this is optional. I tend to cook all the foods first. Some people when they do an omelette, they will tent, and you can see how that looks. I'll bring it around and show you. So that's all together. That's your onion, capsicum, garlic, and um, Spanish onion, salt, pepper. That's already cooked for you, okay? Okay, that's cooking as well. What we're going to do is, once we've done the bacon, I've got mushrooms to do as well, okay? So mushrooms will be next, and then from there it's going to be relative easy, but you can add and change what you want, okay? Oops. So, um, one of the successes that helped me when I was losing weight, and I lost my weight for the very last time, is having my meals organised and prepared, so that way at least I wasn't looking or going to the cupboard and going to the fridge, working out what I'm going to eat. And I wasn't enticed to, to go for fast food. So this is one of the reasons why I want to give this meal prep idea to help you. Bacon doesn't have to be cooked that long. This one here is quite lean. So, whoops, that one. Okay, next one, I've got some mushrooms, and I'll tell you what, if you really want to save money when it comes to uh, food shopping, I always tend to go like on a Monday, and a bit of olive oil, I tend to go on a Monday and do some shopping, because I find that all the vegetables are unspecial. So there's another tip for you, so it depends on what day, you shop, um, you'll be surprised because you will pick up some really good bargains along the way. Okay, so let's put that to one side. We've got that ready, that. So really, we don't need to get out of the way. I'm one of these people that I like to be organized and clean as I go along. It's just a real bad, not a bad habit, but it's a good habit because that way I work in a nice, easy and easy environment. So that's cooking right along nicely. And don't be scared with uh, the amount of vegetables you put in. Even though it looks a lot, by the time you cook it, it all tends to shrink. Okay? So while that's going on, we're going to put that into one side. We've got some nice parsley chopped up. We've got some cheese. and some tomato as well, okay? And then I've got some lemon rind and some oregano as well. And then all these flavors be nice. The way I'm gonna prepare this dish tonight, I'm gonna to put some rocket oil as the, um, my international Mer American friends out there, Mary and, and Lisa, rucola, which is basically how you say it in Italian, is we say rucola. Okay, and mushrooms are done. That was fast. Okay, now I'm going to turn the heat down because it's quite hot. So basically what we've done is we've got the mushrooms, capuscan, onion, garlic, and Spanish onions and the optional bacon all cooked. All the rest now is easy. We do have the tomatoes. You can give them or you can add them in when you're doing the actual omelette. I'd rather just wait and put them into the omelette. Same with the cheese, same with the parsley, same with the oregano, same with the lemon rind, and I do have the egg already organized. So what I tend to do is I tend to turn off the actual heat so that way you're not um, 
gonna burn the egg. I add a bit more olive oil. Now that's not on at the moment, that's still off. And you can see it's still sizzling. Whoops, and there's one little mushroom there. Okay, it's out the way. So what we're gonna do is first, is most, some people will add the ingredients. I like to add a layer of egg first. And let's move it around the pan. Okay, gets a bit messy. I'm gonna add what we cooked first, so I'm gonna Put all the onion on side. I'm going to add the bacon. Now I don't have the heat on. The heat is so warm that it actually cooked the egg already. Okay. Make sure we get a nice even spread on that. Mushrooms. Spread the mushrooms out. This is a really yummy dish. So simple. Okay. So what we're gonna do is now, the cheese is last. Same with the parsley. We're gonna add some lemon rind. Okay. On top. We're gonna add some oregano, sprinkle it on top, like so. And make sure you've got that right to the edge. I will show you this. Now, I'm gonna add the tomatoes. Make sure they evenly spread right around I will show you in one moment so you can see how I've done this. It'd be quite creative. How are we doing for time? This time we're not over going overboard. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna add some cheese. I'm using some mozzarella cheese. Okay. I'll come along and I'll show you how it looks so far. So you can see how it looks in there. Okay, so now the heat goes back on. Yep, heat's back on. That's already cooked. And then I'm gonna add some more egg on top. I'm gonna leave a little bit of egg left over. I'll show you why. Okay, make sure that's flat, like so. Let's over that evenly. Now we're gonna do the last part, which is the parsley. Sprinkle on top. You can add whatever herb you want. I got this from the garden. Okay, so that's cooking quite nicely. What I'm gonna do is, I've just stuck to grab my phone and take a photo, so that way I can post this and you can see exactly what it looks like. Inside, okay. Don't forget to also um, download the planner. The, the weight loss planner is 150 pages. You download it and it's that thick and it has all this wonderful information, recipes, exercise, mindset tasks, quotations, all these six months of exercise, food, mindset activities. So you have all that there and at the beginning you've got 
a um, little bit about um, who I am, what I've achieved. And I basically help women lose weight for the very last time. I'm all about losing weight and doing it in a, in a way which is sustainable for the rest of your life. That's, that's why I believe everything in moderation. Okay, so that's cooking really well. What I tend to do is with a spatula, I'll go around the edge in. All right, and I'll just, I, I push it across like so. So any other excess egg can go on there. Okay, so it goes like that. And then I give it a shake, like so. So making sure any excess egg can go around it. Make sure that's all inside. This particular dish will easily serve four people easily because you can divide it into four if not into five but as always i will show you when i've cut it all open how i always prepare i'm just going to add a little bit more oregano on top you can add some chili as well mm. have you got your glass of wine Okay, so I can feel that. I can feel the base is done. So what I do is, I will turn the heat off. Now, the next part is quite tricky. You can, with your spatula, flip it over and make it into an omelette. But what I'm gonna do is what my mother used to do. I put a plate over the top and then I flip it. Yes, plate over the top and I flip it. There's my plate. I put this over the top of the omelet. Now what I'm gonna do is I'll grab one on this side and I flip it. So let's see how I'll go. I'm not gonna chicken out. I'm gonna show you how the omelet flip is done right here. So you hold it and you flip it. Put it back on. And you can see how that's done. So what I do is, I've kept a little bit of egg. I'll throw that little bit of egg on the bottom part. It's okay, it's a bit of dripping. Put that there. And then I will slowly Put that back in there again. Okay. And now I'll turn the heat back on. Okay. The heat's back on. And now I'll just make sure that the sides are back in there. So I can show you how it's all done. I've made a little bit of mess there. How are we going so far for time? We're doing quite well. We're 25 minutes, we're not one hour. <laughs> and not being as ambitious as last time. Okay, all part of my food prep. There we go. I feel that things are really good tonight. And I'm really hoping that you are enjoying the cooking. Don't forget tomorrow, I've added on another Facebook Live, nine o'clock, let's move. So we're gonna do 20 minutes of, of exercising. No equipment needed. Two meters or one meter square meter of space. And we're gonna do a 20 minute workout, nine o'clock tomorrow morning because we've got this nice, delicious meal ready to go. So I'm just making sure that the base is cooked. 
there we go. Now I need to see if I can find myself a large enough dish, round dish. Okay. Just jiggle it around a bit. Looking for a pizza dish. Okay, so I'm going to turn it off to the pizza dish. Okay, so that's turned off. Which one? So Loretta's just give me a task and looking for the pizza dish. Here we go. So we're going to use a pizza dish. I can quickly show you how it looks. So I've done the flip and the flip, it worked out. I was sweating. Okay, so you can see there in the pan and now we're going to just guide that. one side so now I can show you how it looks a little bit of sprinkling I'll pass it. come over to you see I'm your chef for tonight there you go see I've made it into an omelette but almost like into a frittata. See how I flipped it? It's gone right through. How wonderful was that? That is probably my best one so far. Under pressure. <laughs> how good is that? So, that to one side. And what I would do is, um, excuse me for one moment, I'm going to take a photo. So that way when I post it up, we can see how it looks. People can see how it's done. So what we're going to do is now, as always, we're going to prepare for two people. Okay, that's the difference with the Let's Cook show. I just don't do the one dish, I do for two. Because there is myself and there's Loretta. Two plates. Okay, you can see it there. Some, so we've got Rocket, but I'm going to cut this first and put this onto one side and then I put the rocket around it because it's easy that way, it looks, it looks pretty. So, it's like a cake. Okay, I hope Trish is watching. Trish loves cooking cakes. Hi Trish, if you're there. We don't run out of spatulas here. We've got about a thousand of them. <laughs> Thanks to Loretta. There's one. You can see it might be a little bit loose, but that's quite fine. And two. I oh, know. So what we're going to do is now, we're going to add a bit of rocket on the side. A bit of rocket on the side. Or rucola. 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 Now you can dress that how you want to dress it, but because I use the the rind part, I've got the leftover lemon. So I'll throw a bit of lemon on top. And lemon. Like so. We're doing well. I add a bit of olive oil. Just a little bit of olive oil on top. 
bit of salt, bit of pepper, salt, and a bit of pepper. Voila! We did that in 30 minutes, which is not too bad. So I'll bring it over to you without spilling the actual part. And you can see for yourself how it looks. I wanted to be a bit more close up and personal tonight so you can see the way I've done the omelette. That's number one. And so, and there's number two. Okay. And at the same time, that's how much left over we have. So it goes to show you that you can make it for the whole family. Okay, and it's probably going to cost you maybe four dollars, if that five dollars a serve. I would say more like four dollars. Okay, so once again, thank you for tuning in, watching the Let's Cook show, number, episode number four. Don't forget to download your wet loss planner. It's 150 pages of great resources, recipes, exercises, logs food, mindset, everything you ever need. And it's a free download, people. And I'm also going to give everyone a link so you can download your food prep guide, which has shopping list, how to, how to prep yourself up for success that will give you long lasting weight and losing weight for a very last time. That's what I'm all about. And you've got three recipes. Um, don't forget, it's a really quick um, wrap up. I've got vegan, protein, carb um, low carbs, plant based meal plans, which you have a 25% discount, which will be down below as well. And next week, next week, guess what? I'm cooking vegan. I'm cooking vegan for some dear friends of mine who are out there who are vegan. And I just wanted to make um, Julie happy out there. And the vegan dishes, um, they, look, they look unbelievable. Um, and even if you're not vegan, you will definitely eat them as well. So once again, thank you so much for watching. Episode four has been completed, which is your omelette. I'll put all the photos and details for you as well. And for those who aren't able to watch this live, it will be available on my Facebook group, Losing Weight for the Very Last Time. It will also be kept under units all my recipes are there. Tomorrow morning, don't forget, new Facebook Live show, Let's Move, nine o'clock, just you and me with music, no equipment, any fitness levels, just to get your body working. Once again, remember, lose some weight for a very last time, happens now, right now, with the Weight Loss King. And until next time, I want everyone to keep on living their best lives. Thank you.